Thanks for clicking on this video and taking the time to learn some tips regarding the tax organizers and tax information you send to us. My goal for this video is for you to save money and time. Keep in mind our fees are billed by the hour. If we need to reach out regarding unanswered questions on the organizer, it will cost you in time and money later. We want to save you money and complete the project on time. Please don't delay getting this info to us. You can turn in your information as soon as you receive it or on your target date in. We complete items on your target date and a first come first serve schedule. Let's take a look at the website and quickly go over the tax organizer types. We provide the organizers to benefit you. I know filling out the information completely and accurately every year can feel like a hassle, but a little time now could save you cash and time later. I encourage you to take the time to carefully review and answer all the questions on the organizers each year as things may change. On the home page of our website, click the link to Tax Organizers. This will take you to the Client Help page. At the top, we post all the entity organizers each year. It's very important that you click the correct organizer for your tax return. Each organizer will have questions for that specific entity type. Once you click to open the organizer, make sure that you download and save it to your drive. If you need more time, this will let you complete changes and save them and then upload them to your portal when you're finished. Double check that you're using the correct year and type. We are at the beginning of 2023 and we will start working on 2022 tax returns. So the organizer will say 2022. We will need a complete organizer for each entity tax return. You will upload the completed organizer to your entity portal. Please make sure you provide the backup QuickBooks file. Let us know your QuickBooks version, username and password or send us your file for other accounting software you will be using. Uh, let's move our attention over to the individual organizer. You will find a link to the individual organizer on this page as well. It will take you to the portal where you will log in to your portal and download it from your individual portal folder. Download and save the organizer to your computer so you can save your answers and re-upload the completed file to your portal when you're finished. Let's take a look at a sample of the individual tax organizer. It will also have the year on the organizer. And you will need to sign the front page. Next, you will see questions page one to five. Please answer the questions. Take time to answer them correctly. These are very important to finish. If your personal information has changed, you can put in updates on the personal information page. Starting on page 5A, you will see uh, the different types of forms that you may have received. If you see a name and number in here, it means that you provided that form last year and likely will need to provide it again this year. Please make sure you're sending us any new forms that you may re have received. There may be sections in the organizer that do not apply to you. You will just leave those blank. When it comes to medical information, we do not need all of the medical receipts, but we would like you to write the total amounts in if those amounts are not listed on forms just send us the total amounts. It's very important that you send us your tax estimates that you may have paid throughout the year. Please make sure you enter in the correct tax estimates as any incorrect amounts could lead to a potential tax notice. If you have any questions regarding the tax organizer or information that you should be sending in for us to prepare, please call our office at 602-678-7067.
Thank you so much for watching and we wish you a happy tax season.